Unova wasn't a village based on the U.S., but most of the Pokemon were actually Japanese inspired. Why did they make Stout one Scottish? You know what? I, I cannot wake stand up and make my own Pokemon. Not only is Unova the most universally hated Pokemon region, it's also one of the least inspired. I mean, it's based on the U.S. and barely has any American Pokemon. And it also has these two. <laughs> it was actually because of this fact that my big brain decided to start production on a brand new idea that was way too excessive and unnecessary. Well, if you're so mad, make your own Pokemon reach. Okay, I'll do that. And to make it even harder for myself, I decided that I would make each Pokemon a whole ton different from all the other regions. Oh, goodness sakes. Why did I do this to myself? Starting with the grass starter, of course. I needed an idea. An original idea. A new idea. But how can I shake things up? I thought about... A proto- well. Specifically, Pachyketus, Kuchiketus, and Dorudon. These guys are really cool. But it can't just be a Pachyketus. It needs something more. So I decided to merge it with the Aspidicillary. Aspidicillin. Aspidicillin. Alright, I'll just have the text to speech say it for me. Aspidash alone. But Matthew, O oh second coming of Jesus Christ, what is an Aspidash alone? Oh well. It's this weird Greek myth about people who mixed up a whale with an island. I did some way to make this grass type. I'm sorry, guys. The rest of its inspiration will be American, I swear. It's time to get personal. Starting off with the good old child. It took me a little bit to get this guy to look right. I took a little bit of inspiration from Whiskash and its proportions, but it was only a slight bit. Anyways, I decided to make its whale fin tail in the shape of a whale fin plant, which is actually a plant that despises sunlight. I don't know how that works, but it does. This will actually lead in to its evolution, but I'll talk about that when it comes up. I gave it the little uh, baby hair cartoon thing in the shape of, um, of an ostrich fern. Which is a plant that actually looks like that. Anyways, I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this time lapse. See y'all in a bit. Hey. When I finished packing up, I was just hoping that it was gonna look good, but I was sorry if this sounds narcissistic, but seen this much louder room since narcissist discovered himself. I was amazed and what I drew. It gave me a lot of um hope and a uh, a bit of an ego boost when it came to designing the evolutions. And speaking of those evolutions uh to those evolutions. Where do I go from here? That's what I was thinking after I finished packing up. What is the logical next step? And then I thought about some other things. Like Whale Peak, California. Wait a second. The Rocky Mountains exist. Why can't I just do Rocky Road ice cream? Also, Joseph Eddy, the creator of Rocky Road ice cream, actually started his company in California. And on the Dryer's Ice Cream facts page, it says, quote, We proudly market our products under Dryer's Classic Ice Cream west of the Rocky Mountains and in Texas. Rocky Mountains, Rocky Road Ice Cream, California, Whale Peak. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Get ready to turn pimply and get pumped full of hormones because we're getting to the middle stage. Time for teenage years. Going on with the, um, the whale fin tail not being a big fin of sunlight, I decided to give it a big giant mountain tree on its back. 
to shade itself from the sunlight. And blowhole is actually another word for geyser, so that's what I made its blowhole into. And I even gave it a little cartoon cheek thing, like lots of drawings of whales have. But the middle stage done. Hi! There's only one way to go from here. To the final stage! Now, I'm gonna have it embrace its full rock type potential and turn it into the West Virginian Slide Rock Bolter. A big whale that likes to slide down mountains, create avalanches, mudslides. I think it's actually mudslides. It actually has no flippers, it just has two long tendrils for its fins. And to keep up with the ice cream idea, I decided to do something a little bit disturbing, so feel free to skip ahead a little bit if you don't want to see it. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Eskimo ice cream is um, an Inuit dish where they took ground up seal or whale and uh, put it in a little bowl or cup with some fish eyeballs. Yeah, it's kind of gross. When I started this final stage, I knew most of the things I wanted to have in mind for this. A big imposing attitude, a big old cherry on top, because, you know, it's ice cream, and a big red spot to reference Migaloo, the white humpback whale, who is not actually albino. Why is the cherry orange, you ask? Well, it's a rainer cherry, you little idiot. Just kidding. But rainer cherries are really big orange cherries that grow in, what do you know, California. Well, that's all from me. See you on the next video. Okay, I can't keep up this charade. It would be an insult to the hours of research I put into these Pokemon. You're smarter than this, right? Anyways, let's start off with Pachina. Pachina is based on a Brutus whale. It looks like it's spelled Bride's Whale, but it's actually pronounced Brutus. It is also, of course, based on the Pachyketus and has a little ostrich fern baby cartoon hair thing. It's also got that big ol' whale fin tail, so I didn't really skip out on anything for it. Next we have Arboro. Arboro is now based on Rocky Road ice cream and geysers, and of course, Kuchikitas. That whole avoiding the sunlight thing wasn't actually mainly inspired by the whale fin tail part. It was inspired by an Austrian myth about a woman who could not go into the light, or else she would be taken by a great Big honkin' whale. Now for the final evolution. This one's really interesting. Old Tyviant is based on modern whales, specifically Brutus again, but also based on Dorudon. And it has the big old Rainer cherry on top of its Eskimo ice cream body, which is also inspired by Migaloo. Its cheek is now in the shape of a lemon because it is based on baked sea bass with spinach. <laughs> Even its flippers are now made out of spinach. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, tomorrow, and all the foreseeable.